Taurus. What's going on, guys? Um, you came in second. So thank you so much. I was surprised. Uh, Taurus's numbers are always either really high or really low. So I never know what kind of showing I'm going to get for for Taurus uh, every week. But thank you so much, you guys. You came in second, and I really, really appreciate your viewership. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe this video as well so you can make it to the top of the list again next week. Uh, I'm so happy because you guys usually go second to last, and now you're second to first. All right. Oh, this is your verses reading too, by the way. Oh, and my nose, it's itchy already. All right, that's a good sign for a psychic. All right, feel loved and comforted. All right, that's a big deal, guys. Mother Earth is here. Ooh, I forgot to pray. I'm going to still keep these cards, but I forgot to pray. Actually, I'm not going to keep these cards. I did that. That's the second time I did that today. That sucks. Got to pray in this chiz. All right, dear Father God, Mother Gaia, higher self, spirit guides, and angels. Please protect me and my viewers by only allowing messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so won't it be. All right, Mother Earth popped in to show me, to remind me to pray. We don't want any negative energies in Taurus's reading. We came in second, ain't no place. And Virgo came in third, which um, because they got saved by their likes, which is awesome. All right, intuitive messages. All right, I got some intuitive Tauruses here. There's quite a few Taurus um, readers on YouTube, actually. I'm always a little surprised by Earth signs when they're when they're in this this game, but people are always surprised by Mama Faya being in this game. Uh, there's quite a few Aries readers too, but um, usually you find the the water signs tend to dominate um, or anybody with water in their chart and you may be a Taurus with some water in your chart but like your last video you have to take care of your needs and whether that be in this relationship or just self earth guardian perfect Taurus if you need to get outside dig your toes in the dirt just make sure that you're staying grounded you're an earth sign. That's really important for you, you know? So make sure that you're um, taking care of yourself. Uh, Red Jasper just came to mind for you. Red Jasper is a really cool crystal. It's a root chakra crystal that helps a lot with grounding. Any black crystal or any even green crystals for you, I think would be helpful. I know green is normally heart chakra, but I think anything green for you would be good. Wear green shirts or even wear brown. Oh, what's up with your person? They might be bugging a little. Ooh, your person's got to be fearless. They got to make plans and focus, and they got to shift their perception. So maybe they're not seeing you in the right light, Taurus, or the connection, right? Both of you guys need to follow the voice of your soul. Let's see. This could be a married couple. This could be a dating couple. This could be two people who um, don't talk to each other very much. I mean, this could go... Lots of ways. This could be a friend. This could be fam. But most likely this is a love relationship. That's what I'm getting. Especially make plans and focus and be fearless and stand strong. I mean, you know, um, let's see. But regardless of what kind of relationship this is, Taurus, taking care of your needs has to come first right now. And I know that's hard, but yeah, you need some rest still. You know, whether you were able to since last since the last reading, which was only a couple days ago. So, you know, it's not like um, it's not like you've had much time, right? So you've had to you may have to cut some shit out. Or you may have to drop this person, Taurus. I don't know. Let me see. Who does Taurus what what does Taurus need to cut out here with this King of Swords? Definitely need more sleep. Ooh. Taurus needs a brand new fresh beginning. And I don't know if I don't know if it's with this person or not. How does this person feel about Taurus? Let me see. The fool is Aries energy. King of Swords is Aquarius. Ooh. This person definitely wants to work with you. For sure, Taurus. So whatever it is you got going on, you got something going on. You got something good going on, and this person wants to work with you. I mean, or maybe they need to shift their perception and instead of working against you, work more with you. Uh, that might be a thing. Ooh, 
Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, this person may see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, someone who gets their shit done, who takes really good care of themselves, their home, their kids, their, their people, you know? So, um, and, whoa, High Priestess. Your person definitely sees either Taurus as someone who is um, very psychic, you know? Or this person just isn't telling you much how they feel. You know, they may be a little shyer or quiet um, when it comes to emotional expression. That um, that might be a little harder. Oh, let's see. Five of Pentacles. Ooh, first. Oh, Taurus, you're not feeling so great. I don't. I'm. I think this person not speaking up and telling you how they feel is hurting you. I do. I, I do think that. But you've got double kings here. Ooh, this is strong masculine Taurus over here. You've got the king of cups, the king of wands, and the king of swords. Or if it's a female, you've got a lot of, you've got a couple different dudes. Um... But I'm getting this is more of a male Taurus that I'm picking up here who feels like he can't express himself because maybe the partner doesn't express themselves either. Um, and I mean, there's definitely a desire to be with this person, though, on your side, Taurus, with that King of Wands. But you're afraid to, I think you might be afraid of rejection. Oh, okay. Um, Taurus, if if this is you and you're a dude, I mean, it's a real thing. This one has been hurt. Rough. Rough. Oh, Taurus, whoever you're asking about here, they've definitely been hurt in the past. And that might explain why they're so, like, quiet. You know? Um, okay. This side, Taurus, which this is so fair. I mean, shit, we're human, right? You're you're afraid to to get rejected if you if you actually reach out and tell this person like, hey, I dig you, right? But this person isn't gonna come to you because this person is mad quiet and seems kind of busy. You know, like just mad busy, to be honest with you, too, you know, and and they've been hurt. So them putting themselves out there, I think, on a romantic level would be very, very hard. So, Taurus, you may need to be the king of wands here and take action um, if you want anything to happen with this person, because it does. It seems like this person is very focused on hurt. Whether it's hurt from you, which it doesn't look like it is. This looks like hurt from other shit. And that might explain why they're mad quiet or may not have shown you as much interest. Ooh, the devil. Oh, rough. The devil came and ate this person's heart up. Damn, Taurus. Who are you digging on that has a really rough romantical past? Um, I mean, don't we all? So, I mean, do I, it's, it's weird. I'm not getting that, you know, that this person is even all that aware of you, if that makes sense, Taurus. I don't think this person is even aware that you are even looking at them. But also, Taurus, if this is a married couple, I do gotta, I do gotta see, like, if this is an established relationship, which a lot of you guys are in, um, I do suggest that, Taurus, you take some action towards your partner to heal some of this hurt, um, because your partner is definitely hurting if this is, if this is a married relationship. Uh, your person may even have some addictions. Um, that's a definite possibility here that they're not talking about, or they're just really, really in a lot of pain. 
and very much focused on work and stuff, sort of losing themselves in work. Ooh, yeah, this patience that if you're in a marriage, this person is showing a lot of like pullback, I think because they are hurting really badly, but they think that they've got to take care of it themselves, you know? And if you're in a partnership with someone like that, that, it, you know, you want to help your partner, right? Um, if this is just someone, but I'm getting more that this energy is um, someone who isn't even fully, like, not that, they, that you're not noticeable, Taurus, but that this person isn't fully aware of what's going on here. And that's okay. I think that, you know, with some patience on both sides, uh, this person also has a level of having to take care of their own needs um, to, you know, this is a little complicated. But try and have a little patience with this person, Taurus. Um, if you just started dating this person, um, it looks like they need to go slow because, um, or if you want to date this person, this person may want to move a little slower than you want to simply because um, they have been through it, right? So the main message though here is have patience with your person and understand that they may not be feeling so great. And, um, ooh, seven of swords. <sighs> okay. You're not telling your person what's affecting you either though i think that uh that seven of swords is way more like yeah okay okay all right taurus you do not you don't want to express your emotion to this person you're not sure that um they will reciprocate how you feel however it does look good i mean this looks delicious if you are able to finally, instead of be the king of cups, but be the queen of cups, who does express herself freely, like, or at least a lot more than the king of cups does, um, healing and some yummy loves could come in, Taurus. So don't be afraid to be a little vulnerable. I really think that, you know, um, expressing oneself emotionally doesn't have to be such a fearful thing. And it doesn't have to elicit so much. So what if this person says no, Taurus? Are you going to die? No. But the fact is, it seems like this person is a really decent person. Um, very, very feminine and very, very caring. So even if they did, like, say, I'm not interested in dating right now, they would say it like that. They'd be like, no, you seem great, but I'm not interested in dating right now. And that certainly wouldn't make anybody kill over and die. That would only create some closure on this confusion and this sort of like, I don't know. But honestly, uh, with the Empress and the Wheel of Fortune here, it looks like my Taurus friend is going to have some good luck with this person. So again, <laughs> your fears are so not warranted, Taurus. Your fears are not warranted. Does that, I, I, I know, I know it's scary. I know the idea of getting rejected, especially if you've been rejected before or things just haven't worked out for you, you know, <laughs> It can fuck you up a little bit. I mean, again, you know, but really, dude, this person just got a lot going on. And so if you feel like this person doesn't pay attention to you, it's it's not because you're not noticeable. Taurus, I, I tell you in every reading how fucking sexy you are. So I don't understand. I'm so confused. I'm so confused by how you don't know. So it's just like, how many times do I have to tell you? This person would totally bang you. <laughs> Sorry. But they would. This is victory. Victory. There is not a single negative card over here. After I started asking about 
you reaching out and expressing your feelings, Taurus. So no matter what relationship this is, I can easily say, if you express how you feel, Taurus, you will feel a lot better than you do now. Okay? Page of Swords. Ooh. Ooh. Peeps be spying, and it's not just one, it's both of y'all. So don't think this, per I think this person notices you more than you realize. Sucker. All right, Taurus. Let me, sorry. I just love being right. I knew this person would say yes to you before I even pulled those cat cards. So please. All right, this person's just busy. Maybe they are shy and don't want to kiss your Taurus ass. I mean... I mean, shit, I see a lot of people kissing a lot of Taurus ass, and maybe this person sees a lot of people kissing a lot of Taurus ass and just isn't into it. I mean, I don't know. Wisdom, you know. And you also know, Taurus, that, like, number one, you know you're a sexy bitch. Number two, you know that whether this person says yes or no, you'll be just fine either way. So does it even matter? At least you won't wonder anymore. And if you're married to this person, uh, y'all better have learned to have been vulnerable with each other before you even got married. Um, if you're in a marriage and you can't express how you feel, or if you don't feel comfortable expressing how you feel, what kind of fucking marriage is that? Sorry, but, ooh, this person got to face their fears. This person got to face their fears. No doubt. This person's afraid to talk to you. Taurus. This person's afraid to talk to you. Yeah. And they, they really could use some fun. I, I do think that this person works a lot. And I think that this person needs some fun. And I think that Taurus knows. Taurus knows how to show someone a good time. So I think that you ought to get over yourselves, both of you. And I don't know. Make this happen. Okay, Taurus, I love you. Thank you for coming in second. I hope this resonated. I hope that you do express yourself emotionally to whoever it is that you were asking about um, because it does seem like this person, while, you know, they are definitely not going to reach out to you because they're a big old pussycat, they will reciprocate. Okay, love you. Bye.